Hi everyone, John here in association with Knees Up Mother Brown. Visit KUMB.com for all the latest West Ham news, stories, opinions. Um, today's video is what I think West Ham's pre-season has taught us. So I mean, let, you, let me know what you think West Ham's pre-season has taught us, but this is my thoughts on it. If you're new around here and you like what I'm doing, please hit the subscription button and hit the notification bells to get first dibs on the videos. Um, yeah, so let's, okay, so let's start off with it. As we know, we had a very, very good pre-season in in general um you know we've we only lost one you know we we drew one and we you know we drew against preston north end uh we beat villa we beat ipswich um and we beat the two uh, we, we won the betway cup on penalties and we beat um andreas i think you pronounced that as well one nil so you know at the end of the day pre-season score lines don't really matter at least they don't matter to me because they don't they're just not important what's important is about how the players all gel together how everybody is interacting and i'm telling you from what i've seen of the pre-season games we are playing more and more fluid football we are it seems pellegrini seems to be getting getting the players playing faster there's it doesn't seem to be much more than one or two touches on the ball um, the new players are looking good. Balbuena is looking fa fantastic. Diop's looking very, very promising. Um, Yarmolenko is looking promising. Obviously, we know what Wilshere can do. There's, there's no point discussing that yet again. We also know what um, Fredericks can do. So, well, at least some of us do because I, I know I watched the I watched the um, playoff final and he was very good. Fredericks is going to be starting right back, I reckon. Um, the last preseason game lineup is usually a good indication of what's going to happen against the um the the Liverpool side. Um I don't think we get there's going to be too much of the changes from from what happened yesterday. Um so you know you're looking at the very very potential of um probably still I reckon personally I reckon Adrian is going to be in goal but I reckon it's going to be Masuaku on the left um Fredericks on the right possibly Diop and Ogbonna in the centre-back. Rice and Noble holding the midfield now that Kawate has been sold to Palace for, um, what was it, around about £10 million, including add-ons. Um, good deal for Palace. Poor deal for us. He's worth, I think Kawate was worth a lot more than that, but there we go. Um, and then, obviously, I think we're going to have uh, Yarmolenko um, and Anderson with where I did the vert with possibly um and Chikorito and and out of it up front maybe um Arnie supporting Hernandez but as I say that I reckon that's what we're going to love what we're going to line up as let me know what your thoughts are on this what you what you think your starting 11 is going to be but as I say in terms of the pre-season it's you know they're looking very good Anderson I'm getting a little bit worried about because he does seem to be struggling a little bit with the English technique. Now, I'm not saying anything bad against him, but at the end of the day, you know, he's never played in Britain before, um, much less a high-tempo Premier League. Balbuena has, has played at a high-tempo league and has Diop and so has Yarmolenko. So those, those guys are looking like they're really going to settle in. Um, I'm not, as I say, I could be wrong, but I honestly think we need to be giving Anderson a chance. He needs some games to to settle in he was playing well in the first few games but the last couple of games um he's not looked all that brilliant so but as i say it, it could be just the fact that he needs to uh, try and adapt to the to the tempo and the way the premier league starts as i say let's just see what happens okay so as i say from from pre-season we've learned that it's going to be fluid football it's going to be attacking football more than anything else it, it, it appears to be that um, Pellegrini is telling the guys to go out and win rather than the go out and don't lose or don't concede message that Allardyce um, was famous for as was Moyes and to a lesser extent Bilic because there were times where he was absolutely going for it and then all of a sudden um, it, it, we just turned into teams where we were just trying, not, trying to get a point and try not to lose you know but as I say I'm happy with pre-season overall. I think I think we've done well. I think it's been a it's been a it's going to be a good test to the new players, especially Liverpool away and then at home at Bournemouth. Um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be fun. We're going to we're in we're in for a ride definitely. Um, personally, for me, I say at the beginning of every season, I still say top fifteen. 
I'm not getting a way, carried away by by this. It's great momentum for the club at the moment. Don't get me wrong. I'm really, really loving it. Um, but I need, I personally, I if we finish around about ninth or tenth, I'll be happy with that. I'm not. I don't think we which we should be putting going all out for European stages. You know, we've got difficult teams to play. Teams that are far, far ahead of us. For example, you know, we're still miles behind Arsenal, we're still miles behind Spurs, we're still miles behind Chelsea, we're still miles behind both Manchester clubs, you know, um, you know, but there is impetus here, you know, there is, the, it's going to be interesting, as I say, I reckon we're going to be in for a really, really, really wild ride as a club, um, so thank you very much for your time and watching this, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below guys on what you think is going to be your start 11 for the Liverpool game, uh, let me know what you think about um, the pre-season as a whole, not specifically the signings but just the pre-season um, and by all means share this video if you feel anybody would like to watch it and also like it if you feel I deserve it, so in the meantime guys Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon because I'm going to, on Thursday afternoon, there is a window roundup video coming out where I go into the signings in a bit more detail. And also, um, I'm going to be doing another review video, which is going to be the Charity Shield game, which is tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.